guys welcome back to my channel my name is Allie if you have not been here before and thank you so much for watching this video so for today's video I'm gonna be doing part two of my closet favorites here in my closet I've only actually filmed in here one time I don't know why I haven't filmed more in here. It's kind of fun. So yeah, I wanted to change it up a little bit. And this week I'm going to be focusing on shoes and accessories. Last time it was clothing only and I just had too many favorites to share. So yeah, I get ready for lots of fun accessories and shoes. Of course, I'll be linking all of the products that I'm going to be showing you guys down in the description box. Just want to give you guys a heads up too. Um, I'm not much of a, like a designer clothing person at this point in my life but I do love designer shoes and accessories so I, I'm going to be showing you guys some luxury pieces today but I will be linking similar pieces that are a little bit more on the low end price wise so in case you do like something that's a little bit more luxe and you want to shop it but you don't want to spend the money I will find something similar for you guys before I get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload if you guys enjoy this video I would so appreciate a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys favorite like maybe accessory or shoe is in your closet as always my Instagram is linked down below as well as the link to my presets and dust overlays if you guys like the way that I edit my photos on Instagram Instagram. Also linked down below is my lip kit. I actually have it here today so I can show you guys the products. My lip kit is inspired by the 90s. It's called 90s Baby. I was born in 91 and it comes with a lip liner, a velvet lip crayon, and a high shine liquid lip. So I'm wearing it right now. I absolutely love this. I think it is so pretty. So if you guys want to shop that, I'll go ahead and link it down below. And as always, my outfit details, Poshmark, camera, equipment, all that fun stuff is also linked down below. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's start out with shoes because that's my absolute favorite so I kind of like broke it up into categories once again so first off we have my absolute favorite pair of sandals and they are actually newer to my closet it took me I don't even know how long at this point to get these stupid sandals I tried buying them from Saks when they were available in Arizona and both orders that I placed immediately were canceled because they were sold out um but I finally got my hands on these. So these are the Chanel dad sandals. I think this is the 2020 version. And I just love these shoes because they are so pretty. And this is honestly just like my dream type of shoe anyways. I'm always in some sort of dad sandal. I have a pair of Birkenstocks that I've been wearing for probably four or five years now. And I love those to death. But I wanted something that felt a little bit more luxe if you will so these chanel sandals are just so pretty it's my first chanel purchase and i actually was able to find them on poshmark that is one thing i will say about luxury you guys if there's anything designer that you really want but you don't necessarily want to spend the full amount on them definitely check Poshmark, Tradesy, The Real Real. There are so many resale sites where you can find designer items for brand new or gently used. These were gently used and I actually got them for a very good price considering how much they cost normally. And part of the reason I had such a hard time getting them is they've popped up on these sites a million times but people will sell them for astronomical amounts like way more than it's even worth it for you to buy used people were selling these for like two thousand dollars and that's like not what they're worth at all so that's why it took me so long to find them i bought them from a seller that had them in really good condition and was selling them for what i felt was a very fair price so i'm really happy i got these they fit so great i got them in a size 37 i will say I think I could size up to a 37 and a half and maybe they would fit a tiny bit better um, but they're still really really comfortable I've worn them on two different trips now and walking around the city in them they're super comfortable definitely not too heavy they are real leather I just love them so there's a million pairs of shoes on the internet like this you can find something also luxury like Prada has a version Gucci has a version but you can find them for affordable prices as well so I'll definitely link something similar for you guys but yeah I just love these so much next up is my favorite pair of casual sneakers and if you follow me on Instagram 
you will know that I wear these way too often. Just Converse in general, I absolutely love the Chuck Taylor high tops, but these are very special because they are Com de Garcon, which is another designer brand. Um, so these were a bit pricier than a normal pair of Chuck Taylors, um, but I really love them. I think the little heart logo is just so cute and just like makes them a little bit more special. Something also about them is the actual like rubber and like the cream you see on the laces is a bit more of like a cream color versus my regular black high tops are like straight white on them so I like that aspect too they kind of give that like vintage kind of 70s effect with these they're so comfortable I love how they look on I've been able to wear them with like dresses with jeans with shorts like so many different very cute outfits and I just love these to death i don't know that I'll ever get rid of them. I kind of want the white pair as well. They're so cute. So yeah, these are my favorite pair of casual sneakers. If I could only keep one pair in the whole closet, it would definitely be these. I wanted to create a separate category for my favorite athletic pair of sneakers because obviously I need a pair of shoes to work out in and I'm not going to wear my truck tailors to work out. So I wanted to show you guys my favorite pair slash style of workout shoes they are the adidas ultra boost i have never tried on a pair of workout shoes more comfortable than these it's either my second or my third pair of ultra boosts i actually can't remember i know i have one older pair but i feel like i had another pair before that anyways regardless they're so comfortable i love like the knit material it's really easy to slip them on and slip them off they're very very breathable and they're just like nice and lightweight as well so they're perfect for working out and they're just great too for like more of like an athleisure kind of look as well they're really cute there's like a million different versions of these exact same shoes and a bunch of different colors and styles um, i recently got these ones from revolve and i haven't been able to find the exact same ones on line but they do have a version that's like black and white like this that i can link for you guys but yeah if you've never tried ultra boost on and you need a good pair of shoes to work out in i would definitely recommend trying these out they're a little bit pricier i think they usually retail for around like 180 but I would definitely check the Adidas website because every once in a while they have like a good pair on clearance. It's just like a little bit trickier to find your perfect size. And then also on Poshmark. I see these all the time on Poshmark. So yeah, love these Ultra Boosts. They're my fave. Okay, I know I've talked about these a million times. And I'm like really upset also because they're definitely not on the website anymore. Um, I'm very upset about them like for selfish reasons because they had a nude pair of these and I've been wanting them so bad but Express has yet to put them back on the website um yeah it's really depressing because they're actually the most comfortable pair of lace-up shoes ever so like I said these are from Express and I just love how they lace up the leg and they're so comfortable I don't think I mentioned this but if I had only keep one pair of heels it would definitely be these ones um I'm not mad that they're black because most of the time I am wearing black so I would love to have a nude pair, but I'm not mad that they're black. I would just suggest in general, if you guys are looking for a good pair of heels that you need to be able to wear like all night or something, maybe you're going to a wedding, maybe you're going to like an all day event and you have to wear some heels, absolutely check out Express. I have two pairs of heels from Express and they are by far my most favorite, most comfortable heels. So yeah, these are definitely my fave. I love these so much. They are so good. I'm never getting rid of them. All right, as far as my favorite boots go, these beautiful babies are my favorite and boy do I have a story about them. So these are the Prada Monolith boots. They're actually so dusty right now because it's still a million degrees in Arizona so I haven't worn them in a bit but I was able to find these on Poshmark for literally half the price that they retail now 
Don't ask me how it happened. I believe the man that I purchased them from works at Saks. So I'm wondering if Saks was trying to phase these out last season um, just because maybe they were like trying to get rid of inventory to bring in new spring inventory. But I literally got these for half the price. And I was like looking for them for the longest time and I still can't believe I was able to get them. They were brand new when I got them and they're actually very very comfortable as well. I absolutely love a chunky black boot. I'm only 5'3", so anytime I can look a little bit taller, I'm down. They're very comfortable, so cute, and I just don't think I'll ever not love this style of boot. They're so cute and yeah. I just love them but once again there's like a million versions of this boot online so I'll definitely link these and a very very similar ones as well I definitely had to make a category for these because I wear them so much during the fall and winter these are the Gucci Princeton for mules I absolutely adore these shoes they are so comfortable and like I said, I just wear them all the time. I definitely feel like these are a pair of shoes that I can dress up and dress down, which is amazing. They're very comfortable. They've stayed in really good shape as well, especially for me wearing them as much as I do. But yeah, I absolutely love these. Once again, there's like a million different versions of these shoes that you can find. I also have the non fur version of these, and I will say I wear these ones way more than I wear those. So yeah. I love these they're really comfortable and I just think they look really cute on I get compliments every single time I wear them people are just like huh those are cute shoes they're interesting but they're cute like I said I was able to find these for resale on Poshmark and they were in really good condition when I got them next up is my favorite handbag and I will say this is like such a special piece in my closet it is the Prada Re-Edition leather version. I love this Safiano leather. It's so pretty. I did a video unboxing this and giving kind of like my review on it. And I will say it's still my favorite purse that I own. I wear it more than anything. I love it because it's something that I can dress down and dress up. It's got this really cool strap with this little thing. It's so funny. Everybody's like, what do you keep in that? I'm like, I actually keep my car key. It fits perfectly in here I'll show you guys like look at that if it's perfectly which means I can always find my car key too it's not just like buried in here I love that I can dress it up too if I just take the big strap off it's just such a beautiful purse I love it so much that I actually found it in nude on Poshmark for a really good price but I do wear the black one the most out of anything um it's just so pretty it stayed in really good condition and I wear it constantly i'm obsessed while i have it out i'll show you guys my wallet which this is definitely my favorite wallet i've ever owned as well it is a ysl and the reason i even purchased this is because i needed a smaller wallet for this handbag the one that i had before was just too big and honestly i kind of like having a smaller purse and a smaller wallet because i feel like it forces me to have less clutter in my bag. Um, I'm definitely the kind of person that doesn't clean things out enough and it will just get like littered with random stuff that doesn't need to be in there. So I love that in my wallet I just have like my cards, my vaccination card. Go get vaccinated if you haven't. And that's really it. Like I keep a couple receipts in there but I'm forced to clean it out if too much stuff is in there so that's what I love about it so much and it's really good quality this one I found on Trade Z for a really good price so I like it a lot I think it's beautiful and it's just perfect for what it's actually for as well so let's talk about some jewelry my favorite necklace is definitely the one that I'm wearing at the moment this was my first designer jewelry purchase and what's really cool about it is I actually purchased it from a small business so this business I bought it from is called Divine Collective and she sources really unique designer pieces whether it's like a little Chanel charm from like a pair of shoes or a bag or sometimes she'll take apart like a Louis Vuitton bracelet that had a ton of charms on it and create a bunch of beautiful necklaces and that's what she did with this so this is an authentic Louis Vuitton locket and she just put it on this really cute little chain. I do wear it all the time. It's definitely not like a casual 
type of necklace like I wouldn't necessarily wear it with like a workout outfit or something if I was going out to run errands but with most of my outfits it looks really cute and honestly most of the time I don't even think to put a necklace on if I'm just like going out to run errands and not really caring about my appearance so yeah this one's very very special to me I really love it there's so many small businesses out there that like kind of redesign designer jewelry and I think that's a really cool way of like repurposing older pieces and just making them new and modern and special. My favorite bracelet is actually a watch. I don't really wear bracelets that often, but my Apple Watch is always on me. I got this somewhere in the summertime and I wear it every single day. I'm like never not wearing it. For the longest time I was like, am I gonna actually use an Apple Watch? Cause Brian got his before me. And I was like kind of going back and forth whether I wanted it or not and he just like could not stop talking about how much he loved his. So I was actually able to use like some credit card points that I had saved up and get this just for like for free I guess. I didn't have to pay anything for it. So I was really excited about it and I actually have come to love it. Not only for like the fitness aspect of it, but like I do love that it tracks like my movement throughout the day, it tracks my sleep, it can track your like menstrual cycle. There's so many different cool things that it does, but I think more than anything, it has allowed me not to get so stuck at looking at my phone. I have notifications that come through all day, whether it's my email, my Instagram, all kinds of different things, just like somebody texting me, somebody calling me. And what I love about it is it notifies me on my watch, like, hey, you've got this email. And normally what would happen is if I would look on my phone and see I got an email, I look at the email and then I get distracted and look at like Instagram and all of a sudden I'm on there for like a half an hour and I don't even know what happened to the time. So with this, I look at the email, I decide whether it's important or not. If it's not important at the moment, then I don't get stuck on it. Like I'm not going to be staring at my watch. I hope that makes sense but that's what I really really like about it and obviously now I know like what time it is <laughs> all the time instead of having to like just look at my phone I think that's the thing it's like made me rely less on my phone and I definitely have a problem with getting too much screen time and this has kind of alleviated that in a sense and the watch band I get questions quite a bit about this watch band it's definitely my favorite. I think it is so pretty. I just have like the regular black watch band that came with the Apple Watch, which I wear like during the day most of the time and like to sleep, to work out in. But if I like want to dress up an outfit, I always put on this one. This one's actually from Michelle and it's very <laughs> pricey for a watch band. Um, the reason I got it is honestly because I had a Saks gift card. So I don't know that I would have spent that much money had I not had that gift card. But I did justify the purchase as well because it's got silver and gold on it. So I can wear it with both jewelry types. So I really like it. I think it's super pretty. As far as earrings go, I'll zoom you in. My favorite earring brand is Gorhana. It is a Latina owned business. I believe they started in Laguna Beach, but they definitely have an online store and I think they're in Scottsdale now too. They definitely were at some point. Hopefully they still are. Um, but I love their little huggy earrings. Both of these earrings are actually from the brand. These like solid gold ones that are a little bit chunkier are the ones that I wear the most. I got my second hole and I'm so happy I'm able to wear these Madison ones more often but I just think they look so pretty and they're just so easy for every day and they look gorgeous so I really really love those. If you follow me on Instagram you know that I wear hats a lot um, mainly because my hair is pretty much always dirty. You guys are actually catching it on a clean day. Yay congrats for you. Um, but with that being said, I had to split up hats into two categories because there is two different types of hats that I wear all the time. So this first one is more like casual type of hat. And I will say for sure my favorite is the 47 brand. I have quite a few hats that Brian and I both share. And I love these so much. They look very vintage. So funny if you look at the reviews on Amazon. Like half the time people are like, this looks like it's worn. It looks so worn in. I'm like, did you even like read the description? Like they're supposed to look like vintage hats. What are we doing people? Anyways, I love the way these fit and I just love like the different color options that I have. I, like I said, I have like 
at least five or six of them and I love them. If I had to only keep one, it'd either be like this classic Yankees hat or the tan one. They're so cute. I really like them. They're comfortable and they're just like so easy to like look cute too honestly like my hair will look like absolute trash and then once I put one of those on I just feel much cuter and then as far as like my dressier hat probably the hat that I wear the most out of all of mine is my teak rancher from lack of color these are pricey I'm not gonna lie they are very very pricey but I will say I do think that they are worth the money um, the quality of these are just so good and I've had it for so long and it still looks like basically brand new. It's in such good condition. I like this color so much because I just feel like it can go with so many different outfits. I have three, three lack of color hats and this is the one that I probably wear the most. I think just the color is the reason. I think it just goes with so many more outfits than the black one and the like cream one that I have but I love this one it's so cute it's very comfortable on I have a size small and I probably could have gotten a medium and maybe it would have fit a little bit better if I'm just wearing it like this on top of my head it feels perfect it fits really nice but I do like to wear them like down smushed a little bit more like that as well and it doesn't fit my head like that as well I can like really smush it down but most of the time it looks better if I wear it on the back of my head I feel like since lack of color has done such a good job creating quality hats there's so many other brands that have come out since then that have created beautiful pieces as well I actually have a couple hats from Urban Outfitters that are very similar in quality they've definitely stepped it up but I will say no matter what these are still gonna be my favorite because the quality is just unmatched in my opinion. Oh, I just thought of one more shoe category that's maybe kind of stupid, but it's important to me. Slippers. Of all the shoes in my closet, slippers are the thing that I wear the absolute most. I am never not wearing slippers in my house. I love Emu Australia. That's definitely my favorite slipper brand. I've had a cream pair of this exact same style and a leopard print pair, and I wore both of those just to the ground. Slippers usually only last a few months, maybe six months, and I held on to those for as long as I possibly could until like all of this fur was completely worn off on the bottom of those. So I finally decided to part ways with them and I got this really fun rainbow pair from Urban Outfitters. I wear these so much. I love them. They're very comfortable. I will say if you plan to purchase these, make sure you size up. These are a size 40 and I normally wear a 37 or 38. So they definitely fit snug. I think it's because of all this fun little fur, but they are so comfortable and I'm honest to God, never not wearing them. I'm obsessed. All right, you guys, I think that is it as far as my shoes and accessory favorites go. I mean, I could go into scarves and like belts and all those things but I just don't wear those very often like I'm giving you guys the accessories and shoes that I wear the most out of everything or that are just like the most special to me um I don't really have anything else in other categories that are like very very near and dear to my heart so that's it you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course if you guys have a suggestion for me in the future on what else you guys would like to see from me leave it down in the comments below actually the first video that I did like this of all my clothing favorites was one of you commenting and giving me that suggestion so thank you and yeah if you guys have any other suggestions please go ahead and leave it down below and if you guys want to see my closet favorites for clothing I'll be sure to link that down below as well and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye